The next one that I want to go over is called graphing a square root function problem type number two. But you know, it's a good opportunity for me to talk about um, if you already completed that topic and you want to go back and review it, what you can do is you can click on this menu and go down to review. Okay, and I'm going to go find that. I think I already completed it, but I want to record myself going over it one more time. So I'm looking for graphing a square root function. Graphing a square root function. Oh my goodness, if I can find it. It's graphing a square root function. Here it is. Graphing a square root function, problem type number two. Let me click on this. And then let me click on start. Alrighty. So what's the function? The function is, you know what? Let me go get my iPad so that I can do the work. Bring this up a little bit over here. So they want us to plot four points on the graph. Um, the leftmost point and three additional points. We know how to find the leftmost point by just looking at the transformation. Starting from the origin, we're going to go down six units. You see right there, subtracting six, and there's nothing being added or being subtracted out inside. So only transformation is the vertical transformation of down six. So I plotted zero, negative six, and then let's go ahead and find those three additional points, okay? So you know what? I, I, I think if you want to use a graphing calculator, I'm fine with it. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and just use, you know, we can find some points. That's not a big problem. All right. So X value and Y value. And all we need to do is just plug in a couple X values into this. We need three. But first thing, hold on one second. Hey, Ina, you're going to grab some square root functions this time. If I plug in 0, what will I get? 3 times square root of 0 minus 6, which is 0 minus 6, which is negative 6. That's why we already have a point at 0, negative 6. Let's go to the right and click another one. If I plug in 1 in there, what will happen? That is 3 times 1 minus 6 which is negative 6. I have another point at 1, negative 3. 1, negative 3. I think I said negative 6 by mistake. All right, let me plot 1 to the right, down 3. This is very difficult for me today. All right, let me do, uh, I need three more, two more points this time. But we have to be very careful because um, square root of 2 is a decimal that I do not want to plot. So the next number, a uh, number that is a, I'm going to pick a perfect square. A uh, perfect square, uh, the next perfect square will be what, 4. So if I plug in 4 into the function, I get 3 times square root of 4 minus 6. This is 3 times 2 minus 6. Oh, look, 3 times 2 is 6. And 6 minus 6 is 0. That means I'm going to have a point at 4, 0. Let me plot that. 4 to the right. Whoopsie, I made my notes so small. 4 to the right, 0. All right. I wonder if I can make this bigger. Oh, no. Mine is so... Okay. That's good. That's good. All right. The next perfect square um, will be what? 9. I can plot 9. If I plug in 9 into this function, I will get this. So that's 3 times 3 minus 6. And that is 9 minus 6, 3. So let us plot 9, 3. Okay, 9, 3. What is this? 9 to the right of 3. You're hearing my daughter screaming. 9, 3. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and click on this curve. And that's looking good. That's looking good. Let me go ahead and click on check. Yes, that's it. That is correct. I think I can try to do one more. Let's do one more. More practice. Okay. 
when I clicked on more practice, I'm so happy because this one has both the vertical and the horizontal translation. That means not only that we're going how many down? We're going down five, but we're also going four to the right. So that let's go ahead and plot that point first. So down five, one, two, three, four, five. And because we had minus four inside, I'm going to go four to the right. So this is going to be my uh, leftmost point. Leftmost point is at down five, right four, using the transformation rule that we talked about in section 1.6. All right. But in order for me to find the other three points, uh, additional three, po three additional points, I'm going to need to go back and do this traditional XY table. Okay, so, in, you know, this is a good opportunity for you to check. Plug in 4 and see if you actually get negative 5. Let's do that. The rule is to take square root of x minus 4 and then subtract 5 from it. Oh, this is going to be square root of 4 minus 4 minus 5. And that square root of 0 minus 5, and we know that is simply negative 5. So that's very good. We have a point at 4 to the right, down 5. So we got the leftmost point right, but the way that we did was looking at the transformation instead of plugging in an x value. But I need to find the next point. Will 5 be a good point? Let's see. Square root of 5 minus 4 minus 5. That will give me square root of 1 minus 5, and that is negative 4. I can plot 5, negative 4. 5 to the right, whoopsie, 5 to the right, down 4. Okay, the next number, but now we have to be kind of careful, because we're trying to get a find, use an x value that will make a perfect square, after subtracting 4. So the next perfect square is, um, wouldn't that be 4? But to make 4, um, after subtracting 4, I'm going to do 4 plus 4 and I'm going to plug in 8. And if I was wrong, then I will just get a nasty looking decimal. That's not going to be so helpful when I'm graphing, but I'm going to try it. Let's see. 8 minus 4 in the square root and minus 5 outside. Square root of 8 minus 4 is square root of 4. Oh, yay. It worked out as I planned. Square root of 4 is 2, and 2 minus 5 is negative 3. Let us plot 8, comma, negative 3. 8 to the right, down 3. Okay, I just need, oh dear, I need one more point. One more point. The next perfect square is 9. Isn't it? Okay, to make 9, I need to do 9 plus 4, which is, what, 13. I'm going to plug in 13 into this square root function, and that will be square root of 13 minus 4 minus 5. 13 minus 4 is 9, just as I planned. So I'm getting 3 minus 5, which is negative 2. Let us plot 13 comma negative 2, and that will be our very last one. So I need to go 13 to the right. Oh, don't click on it, Luna. And down 2. Alrighty, I have enough points. I have four points. I made a mistake over here. You see how easy it is to make a mistake on your Alex homework? We have to be very careful. All right, let me go ahead and draw a square root function. Uh, and then I'm going to click on check. And what did they say? Yay, that was correct. So if you want me to do another one, um, just let me know. But I just went over two similar types. Um, hope that was helpful.